What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a quick video. Um, this one is basically because I've seen a lot of people talking about having multiple remotes um, for their SEX24s and um, I actually just got a question a few minutes ago about um, is there another transmitter that will bind to these so that you can just use one for all of them. Well, the answer is you can actually just use your stock remote with any of them. As you can see over here, those are all SCX24 stock transmitters and it can get a little confusing on what you're using. You can see here I labeled this for my Toyota. So this remote is running the Toyota, right? And this one with the plastic on it, I don't have a label on it yet. It's running the C10. Don't pay any attention to that body roll. I'm running two different sets of shocks on there right now. I haven't even swapped that over. Got a lot I'm working on. Um, so I gotta give a shout out to that reef servo. That thing is insane. Look at that. Anyways, so this is running the C10. This is running the Yoda. So all you're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off. So say you want to use this one remote, the Toyota, for the C10. I'm gonna turn off the C10 remote, obviously. Okay. We're gonna turn this truck off completely. All right. So all you're gonna have to do is turn this remote off. Hold this bind button right here. See this bind button? It's beside the light. Hold it down and turn your remote on. So it's going to start flashing and you can let off of it. So it's ready to bind. Then all you got to do is turn your truck on that you want to run. Give it a minute. Usually the <clears throat> usually you're, you'll see the front wheel twitch just a tiny bit. That's why I was waiting for it, but that quick. You can see this is the Yoda. Now running the C10. So super simple. Then you can turn this truck off. You want to go back to your Yoda. Um, so my off and on switch is inside of there, so it's a little bit complicated. Still works. Okay, um, obviously if you have them both on the same time, you can actually run them both. It's a little odd, but one remote for both trucks. Okay. Probably not going to want to do that a lot, but I guess you could. Anyways, that's all you got to do. So let's go back. This is running C10 now. Let's turn this off. Let's get this out of the way. One more time. So your your original C10 remote, it's not gonna work if you just turn it on. Okay, so turn this off, off, hold your bind button, turn it on. It's flashing, it's ready to bind. Then turn your truck on. See the front wheel move just a little bit? You know you're good right back to our original super simple um, I just want to make this quick video hopefully it'll help somebody out you can ditch all of these remotes and just have one and uh, just pick the truck you want to run so uh, no need to have all these crazy remotes around I leave a lot of mine on their original remote because I let people run them when they come over so uh, but it's super quick you can just rebind them don't even have to have a bind plug so um, that's how you do it. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope this helps out. Peace.